שאתם רואים, פה זה מוצב האו"ם, ממש 20-30 מטר ממני, לא יותר מזה. שימו לב מה נמצא מתחת למוצב האו"ם, בואו. ספיר עמוק מאוד, מעל 5 מטר. שמתחבר לעוד ספיר מתוך האדמה. עוד פיר שנמצא שם, שמתחבר אליו, עם תוואי ביניהם, מתחבר בתוך האדמה, בעומק מעל חמש מטר, ובואו תראו לאן. הנה יישובי הצפון, שלומי פה למטה, חניתה, יערה, פה למטה. Less than 200 meters from the post. We found here this tunnel. Follow me through into this tunnel to see what you can, what you can find. You need to crawl into the tunnel. Uh, note the, the bunker above. to defend the Hezbollah warriors from any uh, uh, Air, Force in, Air Force bombings. As we enter this tunnel, you can see it's a front, poise, a front post for Hezbollah warriors to bunker down and wait for their, uh, for their operation to attack Israeli settlements. You see it's fortified from above to, uh, to block any uh, Air Force bombings. The size of it is around two meters by three meters. You can take a look. And what we found in, inside this tiny bunker is astonishing. We have here this blue, uh, blue barrel. It's filled with water, with water so that uh, Hezbollah warriors can bunker down here for a long time. We found here another blue barrel like this. And let me follow me outside to see what we found inside the barrel. We've just exited the frontline bunker, which is five meters above my left shoulder. You can see it in this direction. We've unloaded these two big blue barrels that were designed to protect all the ammunition here from the rain and allow Hezbollah fighters to stay here for a long time. What you can see here is different types of gear. You have fighter vests that were loaded with magazines. You have thermal lenses. You have different types of weapons, automatic rifles. Here you got uniforms and boots and helmets. And here you have this long range rifle called a PK that had uh, ammunition loaded into its barrel. Here's all different types of ammunition, magazines and lot, and that were full. Here you can even see the medical equipment that proves to us that Hezbollah fighters not only want to attack our settlements, but they want to treat their wounded and, go, and come back home safely. In the back here, you have these Cornet missiles. These are smart, long-range anti-tank missiles that were designed to hurt Israeli citizens. Over here, you can see these nitrogen balloons with Russian writing on them that are designed to support the launch of these Cornet missiles. Mark my words, we are under the nose of the Unifil front, uh, front line post that's less than 200 meters in that direction. The Unifil's job or any peacekeeper's job is to make sure that no fighters or ammunition can be this close to our borders, threatening our, our settlements and our citizens. The IDF will reach anywhere that's needed in order to in enforce the safety of our citizens and our people. We are standing here in a military base of Hezbollah that they have been built in the last years. And as you can see, it controls all over our communities in the north. And we found here uh, underground tunnels and missiles. And this is our first target. And we're going to continue uh, to the next target. And we're going to destroy every uh, military base like this to make sure that we, they won't be able to invade our uh, uh, communities. And I wanted uh, to tell you something. This is uh, 100 meters right under Uh, UN forces knows 300 meters from our border and 100 meters from the UN uh, forces. 